2009, former CLTV talk show host Gerard McClendon was working here in this newsroom when he learned that his parents, Milton and Ruby, had been killed during a home invasion. Now he and his family are keeping Milton and Ruby's love of education alive through a scholarship available to students in Indiana. Gerard joins us now in the studio. Gerard, thanks for getting Good morning. Out. It's good being it's, here, and it's great to see you guys. It's great to see you both, and yeah. I'm just, I'm... I'm remembering, I mean, I, I, it seems like this happened not that long ago, but walk us through that day, being here at the station and hearing that devastating news. It was tough. I mean, oh. it, just, it, it raises my pulse. Right here, working on the show, before the show started, uh, I got a phone call from my wife, uh, and uh, I, I'm a workaholic, so I'm like, you know, what, what do you want? And so I give the phone to my producer, Jerry Riles, and my wife tells Jerry Riles that uh, the two people found in the forest preserve dead were your parents, you know. And uh, at that point, you know, I'm just devastated. Oh. You know, I, I'm just in pieces at that point. I'm like, what is going on? This is sick. And I thank God for WGN because the newsroom knew, but you guys kept it quiet because you wanted it to be transmitted to my family and myself before it went on air. So I really appreciate that, but just a horrible day. Within an hour though, you made a point of forgiving. You didn't know who had done it, but you were so open about your forgiveness to who this, did this to your parents, unbelievable. We didn't find out who murdered my parents until the day of the funeral, a week later, you know, and, uh, but it was, it was a call from God. It was something I don't even know to this day because I'm still angry, yeah. but something just said you, you got to forgive them. You know, uh, you have to forgive the perpetrators. Uh, you know, there's a great saying, you know, forgiveness is the fragrance the flower sheds on the, the forgiveness is the fragrance the flower sheds on the heel that crushed it. And so that's where we are right now. We're trying to be that that fragrance from that flower. You've examined the deeper issues related to violence. And often on a show like this, we're talking about how many police officers do we have? What are our tactics? But those problems go deeper than that. Things like education. What do you see as a solution in, in that regard to the big, big picture? Number one, homicide is universal. People think that pe people who get murdered, uh, it come from certain background. Anyone can have a member of a family become murdered. My wife's brother, was murdered in the 90s. This is yeah. sick. It's, you know, over 1,000 murders in Cook County this year. You know, this is, this is unbelievable what's happening. And when it comes to solutions, it's lip service most of the time. Politicians give lip service. Pastors give lip service. School corporations give lip service. No one wants to sit down and really look at how we can eradicate murder. Education is one way that we can do that. Talk about your parents married 54 years. I mean, I'm sure you miss them every day, but this scholarship, is it something, a little something you feel like you can do? Yes, you know, when you hear my voice, you hear, you hear my mother's voice, you hear my father's voice every day. Milton and Ruby McClendon, beautiful people, father, Korean War veteran, postal worker. My mother uh, worked for Illinois Bell as a receptionist and, and you know, Oh man, just beautiful people who raised three sons, you know, to be educated and they were amazing community organizers and, you know, they, they spent 54 happy years together. You know, uh, there's a picture of their 50th wedding anniversary. Uh, you see them cutting the cake there yeah. and, and to be murdered on the weekend of your 54th wedding anniversary, Ugh. how cruel. You know, how cruel two teenagers decide to create a ruse, uh, say that they've got car trouble. My parents are loving people. They open the door. The rest is history. And so for people who live in Northwest Indiana, they can apply to this scholarship, Gerard. How do they do that? Yes, they can. They can go to McClendon. Uh, they can go to McClendonFoundation.org. Uh, our foundation is sponsored by our fiscal sponsor, Legacy Foundation, 2.5 GPA, students who want to go to Purdue, Ohio State, or Wabash College. Gerard, it's great to Good see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Anytime.